Welcome to the next episode of the Kościuszko Foundation online concert series, Quarantine Jazz. My name is Leszek Strzelecki and I'm your host. Our guest today is a pianist, composer, arranger, even a sound engineer of a younger generation, Frederic Juan Dong, whose stage name is Frederic HD. Frederic began his musical journey at the age of some six or seven years when he took his first lessons in classical piano. He is a graduate of the Music Academy in Poznan, majoring in classical piano performance. Next, he studied sound engineering at the Frederick Chopin University of Music in Warsaw. At that juncture, his interests began shifting to more contemporary fields of music, jazz, fusion, R&B, soul, and electronic. It is then when he took piano lessons from the acclaimed jazz pianist Wodek Pawlik, the only so far Polish recipient of a Grammy Award in jazz. In 2017, Frederick moved to the United States to continue his studies at the Berklee College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts. His major there, piano performance. While there, he worked with some of the most prestigious collectives, Berklee Indian Ensemble or Rainbow Big Band. In these capacities, he had opportunity to play with such heavyweights of contemporary music like Indian tabla virtuoso Zakir Hussein or bassist Guy Bernfeld. He is the recipient of a number of music awards, including Frederick Chopin International Piano Competition in Singapore in 2010 and Golden Prize in Sound for Visual Media at Audio Engineering Society Competition in New York 2017. The major breakthrough in Frederick's career came earlier this year. It is when he recorded and released his first album with original compositions titled Sounds Good. On this album, we can find some of the best Polish jazz musicians, our good friends, by the way, like violinist Mateusz Moczynski, guitarist Rafał Sarnecki, bassist Michał Barański, or drummer Sebastian Kuchczyński. And ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't heard the name of Frederick HD yet, you most definitely should straight from his home studio in Warsaw, Poland, Frederick HD.
Hello, welcome back. We've been listening to Polish Vietnamese pianist, composer, and more, uh, Frederick H.D., whose real name is Frederick Huang Dong. Hello, Frederick. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm very happy to have you in this program. Tell us what you have been playing. You played four pieces of music original compositions, but also a cover. Elaborate on that, please. 
Uh, hi. Uh, hi, thank you uh, uh, at first uh, for the invitation. And um, yeah, my name is Frederick. I go by stage name Frederick HD. <laughs> this is my thing. And uh, the pieces that I played uh, was um, first one was my uh, original composition uh, that's called the Descent. Uh, it's also included in my album that I uh, just released. The second piece was uh, called uh, Catavento y Giasol. It's by uh, it's an arrangement that I made uh, of a tune that was composed by a Brazilian composer Ginga. And uh, the third tune that I played was Looking Back, uh, also included in my album. And the last one was uh, called uh, Fake Adaptation. It's a tune that's not released anywhere. <laughs> So two pieces of your music are on your album, two yes. others uh, are not, which would suggest that maybe you have some uh, new plans for the future, but I think we'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, listening to your recital, which is piano solo, uh, my impression was very consistent music, very disciplined music, somewhat like played with a distance to what you're doing, uh, but consistent, coherent, stylistically. Uh, now, by the way, those titles, are there any particular meaning to them? Uh, are, are you telling this is like a programming or, or the titles are because you had to put some title to it? Yeah. <laughs> What's the story? I think, I mean, it's, it's different for different composers, <laughs> but uh, in my case, I think it was a little bit of both. <laughs> okay. but, like they did have to have uh, some kind of um, <laughs> title, but they also, they are my own compositions and they come from something that's within me. And th that's something that that was shaped through my experiences and, and what I see and what I imagine through playing them uh, is um, is different moments from my life, I think. <laughs> so so that, that, that's brings, my life. that brings the question of your biography. Tell us about yourself a little bit. <laughs> uh, where are you coming from? Where are you and uh, who you are? Um, yeah, of course. Um, um, I was born in uh, Warsaw, Poland, and I've been living here um pretty much for uh, for the home for my whole life and um, and uh, I started playing the piano at the age of seven I think uh, oh, six oh yeah but I think in Poland like it, you you start at the age of seven um of course I, I went through through the all music education. Uh, with classical music, uh, and uh, during my um, college years, I, I first I was studying classical piano for a little bit uh, in the Academy of Music in Poznan, mm -hmm. uh, and during those years I also studied uh, sound engineering uh, in Warsaw, which is funny thing because I was commuting between uh, two cities. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that you were studying at the same time. Uh, yeah, it was at the same one time. after another. Uh, that's that's tough. My goodness. Okay, continue. <laughs> yeah, uh, but finally I uh, I decided to go towards uh, sound engineering stuff actually. So when I was doing my masters, I, I decided to pursue uh, a sound engineering career. Uh, at the time, it was something that uh, that I saw as more interesting to me, <laughs> for some reason, yeah. But um, I don't I don't know how, but uh, but at some point, uh, I applied uh, I applied to, for Berklee College of Music in Boston, and yeah. During yeah, my final, make that happen. That's not easy task. <laughs> <laughs> Those are people who tried it even... and didn't succeed. 
don't even ask me like how this happens. No. <laughs> I don't like for me it's some Trading. weird life stuff. <laughs> uh, you started with classical music, traditional piano training, studying, even majoring in uh, piano performance in Poznań at the Academy of Music, but you uh, evolved towards different styles of music. Any explanation for that or just like it? Yeah, I think uh, this stuff was happening over the years, just uh, pretty naturally. And like this life stuff evolved into me going to Berkeley <laughs> too. And I think most of of my current uh, inspirations, musical influences that come from, you know, contemporary music and jazz, actually, uh, they derive from my time at Berkeley in Boston. And at Berkeley, you majored in what exactly? In the uh, uh, piano performance or something else? Yes, yes, I majored in, in piano performance. Okay, so piano sound engineering was at Warsaw at the Academy, I mean, you, music, yes. University of Music in Warsaw. In Berkeley, you came, went back to sort of, sort of, uh, to piano performance. Yes. What about exactly. the composition? Because you are also a composer. Oh, yeah, I didn't study that anywhere. <laughs> I guess it's, uh, it just came from uh, my desire to to write music, to have um, some sort of my own project. Mm -hmm. It's, I think it's just stuff that comes uh, just naturally at some point for some people. I would tend to agree with that because jazz or contemporary music where improvisation is a uh, essential thing, then while you perform, you compose that probably explains why you are also a composer and arranger. Uh, mm -hmm. Now that brings us to, well, you arranged for a new album, your debut first album, uh, released early a few months ago, you recorded that and uh, you produced that, you did everything in that album, including being a producer and sound engineer. <laughs> How did you make it happen? Tell us. Okay, so uh, first I actually recorded half of the material that you can hear uh, on the album. Uh, I did it uh, while I was still in Boston last year, mm -hmm. uh, in 2020. And at first uh, it was supposed to be um, a so-called EP, uh, uh, just a release uh, that includes three or four uh, tunes. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, there was this thought, like, why, if I have like a part of material recorded, why shouldn't I do it uh, as an album? So, mm -hmm. uh, because I, I have, I had so much more music that, uh, that was ready to record. So, um, I was already in Poland. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was already in Poland, but, uh, I had those ideas in my mind, so I first I organized a Kickstarter campaign to raise uh, some funds to help me uh, produce the rest of the album. And uh, earlier this year, in January, I uh, I went to the studio with uh, some of the top musicians in Poland. <laughs> uh, yeah, Michal Barański on on bass. Um, Mateusz Maczyński on violin, Rafał Sernecki on guitar, uh, Sebastian Kuczyński on drums. Um, and uh, mostly, mostly, I, mostly, uh, I actually uh, knew only Sebastian because we are really good friends, but he uh, connected me uh, with the rest of the band. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we we recorded the mat the material and um, yeah, it was kind of my dream to do it um, because it it also came from the fact that um, there was not much to do musically during pandemic period. So pretty much everybody says that that yeah, I had to go and uh, record and record and compose, etc., etc. Sebastian Kuchtinsky, the drummer, I, I know him personally quite well. 
Uh, you met him uh, in Boston? Yes, exactly. We met uh, in Boston. We actually lived together <laughs> mm -hmm. in Boston. And it was a couple of years ago, but uh, yeah, we're still yeah, really good friends. <laughs> he knows and plays uh, with both uh, Rafał uh, Sarnetsky and with Mateusz Moczynski. I know those two guys as well. They're great musicians. And, but that I was just going to make this observation in, in, uh, on your tr each track is arranged differently and focuses on a different instrument. So one would be with you interplaying with uh, guitar, another one would be with violin and so on and so on. Now, was it deliberate or that was a so-called <laughs> sort of a circumstantial because that's the musicians you had the access to uh, tell us? I think both. <laughs> I think both because um, it's also um, um, it's so-called uh, fusion jazz music mm -hmm. uh, that uh, co combines a lot of genres of music, in my opinion. <laughs> right. uh, and I don't think there is jazz without improvisation. So, <laughs> so if I do have access to great musicians, why not show them off? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I found that very, very interesting, very appealing, uh, and uh, sounded wonderful. Uh, now we we didn't uh, listen to your album in this program, but that's the album that we want to recommend to everybody, to all the listeners. Get a, and access to that is very easy, and that will be a wonderful experience in in my uh, in my opinion. Now, what are your plans for the future? If any, uh, well, definitely you must have. <laughs> yes, right now um, I'm mostly still working on the promotion of the album. Um, mm -hmm. uh, although it was released in April, uh, there is still right now it's still for me the period of promotion of right. uh, getting more publicity because, um, as we said earlier, uh, off camera, um, uh, I'm I'm quite. Uh, an incognito person right now, uh, an artist that's like uh, putting first steps, you know, uh, in in this in the industry. So uh, I think, like you know, getting uh, getting the music heard by other people is uh, and getting heard by other people is pretty much most crucial thing. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to mostly promote um, the music and also organize uh, some concerts. So uh, I do have some plans for uh, for the future for uh, a tour and some concerts and just fingers crossed for that. <laughs> well, I wish you certainly all the best luck in uh, future concerts and hopefully also uh, concerts uh, in the United States will be part of your uh, of your program, uh, in which would be most happy to assist you and promote that. Uh, I think uh, that's it. We're running out of time, so thank you very much once again for being on this show. Thank you very much, and all the best. Good luck to you, and thank you to our audiences for watching the program. And uh, stay tuned. Uh, more coming in the near future. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.